Police Ad Hoc Committee um, to order. And uh, the first thing, Sheila, is if you could call the roll. Thank you. Okay, uh, Chair Kelly. Here. Vice Chair Bortz is uh, absent excused. Uh, committee member, sorry, uh, Zen Tao. Here. Uh, committee member Fred Finley. Here. Uh, committee member Victoria Rocha is excused absent. Um, and committee member um, Albert Ocon. Alberto Ocon. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very uh, much. Okay. And we have council member uh, Jack Donovan and Mayor Cacciotti on the line as well. Great. Thank you all. Uh, so the next thing is uh, public comments and suggestions. Sheila, is there anyone who's written anything in uh, that we should know about or who is uh, waiting to speak on I items have, not on the agenda? I have no emails and I see nobody waiting and we have no one in our waiting room. Okay, thank you. So we'll move on to the city council liaison comments or communications, Jack. Um, about the only thing I'd, I'd like to add, we had a long meeting last night, we'll get to stay away from that one, um, is that the meeting before last night, it was a special council meeting and it was about the commissions and boards and a way to consolidate them or eliminate some uh, in order to be more efficient, in order to uh, better utilize the, the staff. Uh, the meeting was kind of quite intense. Uh, nothing was resolved, which, which was not the intent was to resolve anything, but to hear everybody up. And <clears throat> one of the things that would affect us is the, no, actually, one of, I'm sorry, this is an ad hoc, but, but, but it would affect Parks and Rec Commission in that there was uh, a suggestion, uh, not just a suggestion, a uh, recommendation to absorb the Animal Commission, uh, and the Senior Citizens Commission into the Parks and Recreation Commission expanded to uh, seven or eight people, I forget the number. Um, and then, oh, and also the Youth, youth Commission. And that, that, that was a big item. And uh, that, would eliminate, uh, that would eliminate the senior citizens down to one person, Animal Commission one person, and park, Parks and Rec would expand to I, th I believe eight. So uh, no decision, but it'll probably be brought up at the next council meeting. So any questions on that? Okay, that's all I've got to add tonight. Thank you. Uh, Mayor Cacciotti. Thanks, sorry to let my dog and she was barking at me. Um, just a couple of things. We were down at the Arroyo a few weeks ago. I'm not sure if I brought this up, but I had Dan Mabe, Sheila can help with this. We did a, a test of some robotics mowers down there uh, that also pick up golf balls and stuff like that. So that one well is Echo, large company out of Japan. They purchased an Aust Aust Austrian a robotics company several years ago. We were testing the equipment and I can get a little video if you want next time to show you. Uh, there's like 42, 48 inches wide. They can not only cut the grass at a driving range or golf course, but also pick up a number of balls per hour. It's very interesting. Um, Sheila, just maybe this might be something to add on a future agenda, or maybe if you have a quick meeting coming up, so we know the golf course has been kind of shut down because of wind damage. Uh, and definitely checking out some things with the uh, poles. But you know, as, we're, as this committee has been talking about the area around the uh, restaurant, I know we've, we've discussed that little old building that was kind of stuck built in there after everything else. And then also a little wall that kind of blocks, it's maybe like a five foot wall blocks the view of the driving range. Maybe what, just bring this up with the city attorney or, or this committee maybe, maybe while it's closed, I'm not sure how long it's gonna be closed. Can we demolish all that stuff right now? And <laughs> just you know, knock it down? Just some, some thoughts. We've been discussing that for a while and you know, I'd hate to, while they're shut down now, then in that six months, if we decide to do that as we build a beautiful restaurant and have to shut it down for another couple of weeks while we demolish those things. Just, just a thought, maybe just bring that up with, with staff. 
again, I'm not sure it's gonna be closed down a week or another two months or what, but it may, it may be a thought. Thank you. Yeah, well, any any response or thoughts? Um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, if you uh, if anybody would like to bring that back as a committee, um, someone just needs to make a motion in a second, and then I can work to bring that back to you. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. But I will uh, uh, start looking into that. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, we're uh, now on uh, committee. <laughs> Committee member communications. Um, start with Alberto. Um, yes, uh, real quick, just on uh, March 11th, uh, the South Pasadena Little League will be celebrating its 70th year of existence. Uh, it is the oldest little league in California. Uh, the original uh, league to start off uh, quick uh, history lesson. Um, Carl Stortz, the originator of Little League uh, International, Little League Baseball at the time, uh, drove his Winnebago down to meet his buddy in California, Tom Henton, and Heaton. And um, he lived in South Pasadena. <laughs> and uh, a couple of months later, South Pasadena Little League uh, became uh, uh, one of the first little league, the, the first little league in California in 1952. Um, I've sent out emails, um, but and we're posting on all the social media. It'll be March 11th at six o'clock. We'll have a little ceremony six to six forty-five, and um, there's uh, plenty of uh, food and drinks and excitement, and there'll be games at seven thirty on all three of the fields to uh, celebrate our 70th uh, season. So please come out, enjoy, and um, let me know if uh, you guys are out there, come and, and visit. We'll make sure that uh, we give all the rounds and, and a good time. So thank you. Thank you, Alberto. Uh, Zen? Any comments? No. Thank you. Fred? Nothing for me. Okay. Uh, I'll just say one thing. Uh, I serve on this uh, committee uh, under an appointment by the Natural Resources and Environmental Commission. Uh, I have served two full terms on that commission, oh, reaching wow. a, a term limit. And, uh, you know, appointments were extended through March. So um, with that, this may be my last meeting with all of you on this committee. Uh, it's been a pleasure to be with you and to uh, work on these uh, matters. I think they're crucial to the city and the big part, the, the facilities are a big part of the, uh, the city. My family has used them uh, through the years. I use them regularly still. And, uh, you know, I just hope that, that you can continue to work and make the improvements that, uh, that everyone would like to see, I think. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so with that, I'll, I'll move on to the next item, uh, which is staff communications. Sheila? Um, yes, there? well, Bill, if you are no longer with us for whatever reason, thank you so much um, for um, heading the group. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll get somebody to fill your spot. Not a problem, but thank you. Uh, I'm maybe, not indispensable. <laughs> uh, hey, maybe, you know, you get to stay on another term. <laughs> Never know. So, um, but thank you. Um, I have no updates. My updates are actually within the agenda packet. So um, I'll go let, we'll go from there. Okay, thank you, Sheila. Uh, so the next item is to approve the minutes from our February 3rd meeting. Um, does anyone have any corrections on, on those minutes or? Okay, seeing none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Thank you, Fred. Can we get a second?
Uh, I read them. I wasn't at the meeting. Is it all right to second the, uh, the approval? I'll second since I was okay, at the meeting. Yeah, okay. I'll second that. So, Sheila, uh, maybe we can just have a voice vote. Is that fine, Sheila? Sure. Israel, do you want to do the voice vote? Yeah. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Great. The minutes then are approved. So we'll move on to the, the main topic of tonight's meeting, which is the, uh, the upcoming RFP for the South Pasadena batting cages. Sheila. Okay, so just to give you an update, the um, RFP that we did went to uh, city uh, manager's office. They did they re their review, uh, made some edits, um, gave the final approval to send out. It was sent out two and a half weeks ago. I sent it out to, um, you know, probably, I think I mailed 49 uh, physical hard copies um, and tried to find their emails as well. Um, some of the, ma the mail came back or they called to say that, you know, they were no longer, you know, operating just because of COVID. Um, we did do a, a walkthrough of the facility on, um, oh gosh, what was it? The two Thursdays ago, last Thursday, we did the walkthrough. Um, so I had two people come to that walkthrough to see the facility and ask any questions of the RFP that they might've had. Um, and so Monday, the RFPs by four o'clock are due here in my office. Um, so we might set up a sooner meeting. Um, I want to kind of get that I, opinion from you guys on how you want to move forward with this. Um, but um, so they are out. Um, I've got, I have also gotten two phone calls from people um, about it um, as well. So if we can get, if I can get three or four, that would be awesome. <laughs> it would give us something to, you know, to really work with. Um, but so when I receive these on Monday, you know, I, I don't know if you guys want to do it just as a committee, or if you want to do a subcommittee of this committee to review, um, kind of go over, see if we need to get any further information from anybody, you know, um, and then we could do the interviews, but we can do them much like we did the last one with Mr. Kokorian, where um, they came in, we interviewed people as a group, we can do it during a meeting um, as well. But I wanted to, what I will do is make sure I get those out to you on, um, you know, Monday or Tuesday morning right away for you to start reviewing them as well so that you can take a good look at them and um, see what we have. Um, and from there, that's when I'll probably, you know, kind of give you a rating sheet on, you know, what your thoughts are. And then we can do a whole interview um, and see kind of what ideas. I mean, to people who've called, you know, want to know, like, what kind of capital are you looking for? And I was like, well, what can you bring to us? You know, so hopefully we can get some, you know, really good ideas uh, flowing. But um, so if I get them trying to move this, oh, trying to move it along sooner rather than later, um, probably Sheila was not thinking when we decided to send them their six month letter because their six month letter ended on the first day of little league season. So I have many parents calling wanting that batting cage open because their kids need to practice and they want me to just put somebody in there and open it for them. <laughs> um, and I told them, well, I, I can't bring the, you know, the same vendor back. So I do have to go through this process. So I was hoping maybe that we could meet sooner than our next month meeting so that we can discuss this, get this moving forward. Um, Cause we do have a process of, we need to look at the applications. We need to interview the people. I need to go to council to go forward with negotiations um, and then negotiate with the person and the city, you know, council during closed session. We only meet twice a month usually for council meetings. So I don't want to carry this on too far because I'd really like to get them open. Hopefully I would love to go June one if, if we go sooner, you know, but it is, I mean, as you know, you guys work on our commissions. It's a process to, you know, making sure that we go through approval processes and once council and the other person agrees, then it comes to council for final approval. <laughs> so um, a lot of work in between. So if you don't mind, um, I might be sending out then a few, when I send out the proposals to you that we receive, um, a few dates, and you can let me know if you're, you know, if you're available. It's really hard to get evenings where there's not another commission or council or committee meeting. <laughs> I think
everybody. Um, Monday, the first Monday of the month is the only Monday of night that might be available right now. But um, hopefully then if, if you're not on your, I'll try not to use the night of your committee, um, but if we can get together, if you, if it's easier for us to do a meeting via Zoom, just to go over the applications, we can do that um, to do kind of quick and dirty and then go to in-person interviews. Um, so does anybody have any thoughts? Yeah, what about um, doing the day meeting? Uh, well, it's it's possible, um, but I know some of you might work and maybe, you know, not be able to attend, but it is possible. Um, not a problem. I think my council members that I have on my our committee here are retired, so um, we have them a little bit more openly than we might have somebody who might work um, during the day. But um, I yeah, I'm just wondering if if people are if I, I don't know who's working remotely or whatnot, maybe that gives people a little more flexibility during the day with all the conflicts in the evening. Okay. Okay. That's I, I, yes. to, to the best of my knowledge, uh, we received about two weeks ago a, clarif uh, a, a memo uh, why we could not have daytime meetings. And that was in response to uh, Zen's request to do it on the finance committee, but it, but it applied to all committees. Now, it wasn't sent to me alone. Um, I, I'd have to look back. And yeah, but see the public email. safety is 8.30 a.m. on Monday. Uh, and there was another one too, this is the first thing in the morning, uh, Zen, but there was, uh, I can look. I can look it up. I mean, I can't look it up right now, but I I know we received one, and it was definitely in response to your request about the finance uh, commission. Okay. Okay, and it was and it was a general. I mean, it, it didn't just apply to the finance; it applied to all commissions, and it was a state uh, a state regulation. But uh, you know, I read it. I said, oh, okay. I guess we can't have daytime meetings and just put it aside. I. Um, you know, I don't know who else received it, but I can find out by the next meeting. Okay. Oh, interesting. So, and if, and, and if, if I'm wrong on that, then I'm wrong, but I don't think so. Okay. I can, I can ask too. I can ask, and then if I can, if it gets sent it, because I, this, they didn't send it out to staff, but if it was only pertaining to one commission at that time, then, because my senior commission meets at 8.30 in the mornings too, so. <laughs> So, but let me um, let me just take a note. Um, okay, and I can ask, but you know, I mean, even if it's maybe four or five o'clock or something like that um, before, if you guys have to go off to another commission at six thirty or or seven. So, okay. Well, so um, Sheila, I I had a question. Yes, So please. you mentioned June one as the earliest possible opening date. Uh -huh. And, and that's just based on the time it would take to review the proposals and to go through the process of um, th this committee and the city council and, and getting a signed agreement, basically? Pretty much, yes. And I like kind of taking it out by how many meetings because you have to negotiate with one, then you right. know, I have to take it. So yeah, there's just, I was trying to time it between how many council meetings there are and how many meetings that I would need to attend to. And then also it really depends on negotiations. It could be one right. meeting and everybody's happy or it can be three or four meetings, so. Right, so when, when would a, a, a special meeting of this uh, 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 group then be in the offing? When would we possibly meet? Yeah. Um, let me just pull my calendar up here. Um, so I received them on Monday at four o'clock. So if I send them to you Tuesday, um, you know, we could meet anytime. We don't have council that week. I just need to figure out what we might have that, the, the like the 10th um, or the following week. Um, let's see, I have Parks and Rec on Monday. I have commission our council on Wednesday, but uh, the Tuesday and Thursday could work as well. Um, so, you know, it could be as soon as that, you know, and then, so then maybe by the time we come back for our next meeting, we can actually have the interviews on that day. You know, we'll have a special meeting in between and then the interviews, um, 
that that first uh, April meeting of the seventh, because then I can go to council, you know, the next meeting, um, you know, to uh, move forward with negotiations, and okay. then you can go to closed session the following one. That would take us to May one, uh, the first one in May. Um, so we'd have like the month of like you know April May to kind of negotiate with council. And then hopefully have it maybe that second meeting in May for approval. Okay. So, I, 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 I see Fred with his hand. I just wonder Fred. if you're looking at possibly March the 17th or the 24th. Those are Thursdays. Let's see here. March. Um, yeah, I don't have anything on March 17th um, in the evening, um, but I don't know your counts, your commissions, you guys kind of need to look at as well when you might have a commission. Um, I have finance committee commission meeting on the 31st. Yeah. 31st. Okay. Yeah. Right. I have another board attendance on that I on the 10th. Is it not related to South Pass, but right, I'm, on, right I'm on another board on the 10th. Yeah. Right. So maybe the 17th. Yes. Or the 24th. Either one would work. Okay. So um, I can like a setup. Somebody else? I'm sorry. Other questions or or suggestions, comments? Alberto, Sam, anything? Okay. Okay. Uh, seeing none, Sheila, that sounds good. I mean, a special meeting would be great. Um, <laughs> I, I'm pretty much available, I guess, to the extent that I'm eligible this month. So, um, well, I would like you to stay until they until they literally take you off the commission. Until they <laughs> drag drag me out. And they drag you out, <laughs> <laughs> or until they assign uh, a new person to step in. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, and then I just want to let you know I did. Um, the batting cages are we physically chain the, the gates up and lock them so um to try and keep things there and not in other people's hands um so um we'll probably do um i'll probably try and work with our public works or you know to do a kind of a cleanup of the building as well you know power wash it and things like that but uh, just so to keep and just to let you know so there's really nothing to you know move for approval or anything on this but just kind of an update okay thank you uh, Sheila, I, I did receive, I think, two versions of the agenda, and I'm working off one that I received March 1. Okay. There was a, a memo I know that just came in related yes. to the golf course. Uh, I don't know if it's, a, it's not on any agenda I have, unless there's been another one issued. Right. And, and whether it's appropriate to discuss that or whether we should... Um, a, a, you know, agendize that for the next meeting, e even if it's a special meeting. Right. No, we can't. We can. We could probably do that. So I did send out a memo um, to you, um, and so I know it's probably to give you enough time to fully review and get your questions that you might have for it. Um, we also, you know, just for going into kind of number seven was on there um, is. I know the mayor told you we are currently closed at the golf course and the driving range um, due to poles being down. Um, and so we are, as a city, are working towards, you know, getting these things repaired and getting things back opened. Um, and so to move forward right now on that RFP, um, we're going to kind of, for the golf course facility, it's going to step take a step back on that and um, uh, move forward on on some of the restaurant stuff so that's why it kind of was there and then I was like okay moved it back but if if you want we can table it otherwise we can move forward um, you know I know we talk about the golf course but it's an RFP that could be for restaurant but if we do have that memo I don't know if we want to just table it for next time but I'm going to leave it up to you as a committee comment I mean, I'd like to see it move forward as, as soon as possible, but I, I don't think we can do it tonight since it wasn't agendized. No. Anyone else? Okay, well, I guess 
hearing no comment, I mean, I guess then if we do have a special meeting, if you could put it on the okay. agenda for that meeting, or or if not the special meeting this month and the following, would 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 be good. I think. Okay. All right. So we will do that then. Okay. Well. Then I guess that reaches the end of our agenda, unless there's any further comment or, or things to raise. Okay, seeing no one, uh, I want to thank everyone, and uh, I may be here, I may not. <laughs> You're still our chair right now, so we're going to move forward with okay. you <laughs> till the bitter end. Okay. <laughs> Fearless leader. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Have Bill, a good Bill, one thing, Bill, be ready. just be ready, Bill, because remember, March is the Ides of March, okay, Bill? So watch out. Watch out for Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Bye. Okay. Good night, Thank you, Bill. Everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, 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 Bye. Thank you. Good to be with you. Bye-bye. <laughs>